Hi guys and welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're doing something a little bit different and I'm going to show you how to make a Rose's Lime Cordial imitation. So I've done the Gimlet in a couple of my uh, videos and each time I've done it I've made a, a fresh Gimlet so I haven't done it with a Rose's Lime Cordial which a few people complained about. So I thought I'd do another video to follow up and show you how to make Rose's Lime Cordial at home. As always, the full recipe will be in the description below. So in case you missed something, just check that. So to get started, we're gonna use a simple syrup. I've pre-made it. I don't really need to show you guys how to make a simple syrup. Uh, 250 grams of water and 250 grams of sugar. Uh, make sure you measure it by weight. You're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but as a result, this makes 400 ml of simple syrup. So we're gonna add this straight into our blender jug. Transfer that across. Then measure out 30 ml of citric acid, which I'll weigh it at the same time, so I can leave that, um, that in the description. I'm gonna be here all day. So that weighs out to 17 grams, 17 grams of citric acid. So this is gonna act as a preservative along with the sugar. So you keep this in the fridge, it's gonna last a very long time. I don't know exactly how long it'll last, but a while. So add that straight in and then follow with freshly zested lime. You can use a microplane. I'm using a little grater. It doesn't really matter because it is going into a blender anyway. So uh, you could use a peeler if you like as well. Oh, that smells so good. So the recipe I'm using quite unusually uh, calls for 30 milliliters of lime, um, which is why I put it on the scales so I could measure it and let you guys know how much it is. Um, Cause weighing lime zest is probably gonna be a lot easier than, than measuring it in a jigger. So by the looks of that, it's gonna be one and a half limes to do 30 mil. So that's 30 ml of lime zest or five and a half grams. So 45 ml, an ounce and a half of lime juice. Should be about one and a half limes. Depends on the size of your lime, of course. Forty-five mil, ounce and a half, and then give it a blend. I'm going to do it off camera because it's a cheap blender, makes a lot of noise, and you don't want to watch that. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've given a quick blend. 20, 30 seconds, and now fine strain it. Just to get rid of any of those chunks, but you've still got the, uh, the oils from that, that lime zest by blending it. Make sure you squeeze out any extra flavor that you can. And now transfer them into your swing top bottle, screw top, whatever you have. Uh, so that in total makes two cups, 500 ml. So these two 250 ml bottles are gonna be spot on. Make your life a little bit easier, use the funnel. And they have Rose's Lime Cordial. And while I'm at it, I may as well make a Gimlet. So if you make it according to the Rose's Lime Cordial bottle, it's 45 mil, one and a half ounces of your preferred gin. I'm just gonna follow that recipe, but I'd probably prefer to bump it up and do 60 mil, two ounces, and then 30 mil of your Rose's DIY Lime Cordial. Just two ingredients, give it a shake and strain it into your cocktail glass.
There you have a gimlet made using a DIY Rose's Lime Cordial. Cheers. Oh, that is intense. It's got some real tang. Um, I like the extra acidity from the, um, the citric acid. This is 100% how I'm gonna make my gimlets from now on. And my friends are gonna be pretty happy to try this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell button and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.